Happy Wheels is one of those once in a lifetime flash games that I absolutely adore. I'd go to primary school whenever I saw that rain outside the window, I knew it was time to get the worst laptop I've ever used and play some damn Happy Wheels. I loved this game. I remember the first video that got me into the gaming sphere on YouTube was PewDiePie's Happy Wheels 3. The stupid fucking dolphin bit is permanently lodged in my brain and so are Timmy and the dad, all these iconic moments that were created with this game. People all over the world were hooked on the ragdoll based game that was so violent but didn't take itself very seriously at all. All the characters would move in such a goofy way and all the weirds that people put into the game like spike falls, bottle runs, rope swings, kill Justin Bieber simulator, what the fuck? YouTubers would create characters and improvise dialogue and it got people to fall in love with these characters with the next to no personality beyond their title. But because people's love for the game and other reasons, Machinima and DMP Digital were teaming up to make a Happy Wheels series. The series would take place in a town called Happy Wheels and feature YouTube celebrities such as Captain Sparkles, Shana Malcolm, Tay Zonday, Jerome ASF, and Log.Zip, and the series was released on Go90 on November 15th, 2016. This show is pretty all over the place. We follow the town of Happy Wheels and watch the adventures of some of the characters from the game, being Segway Guy, Irresponsible Dad, Wheelchair Guy, Lawnmower Guy, and Effective Shopper. The first episode starts off more like a trailer, which honestly makes sense considering most of the first episode is in the trailer. We see five stories told by Lawnmower Guy, but it's really just side stories featuring the main characters. We very early on see the trend for the show, which is just random violence. The show utilizes the trademark gore from the game, but without the frame rate drops, and I think the entire show was built upon that and not around a cohesive story. Like in this first episode, after seeing Wheelchair Guy and Effective Shopper die, we see the dad push his son on a bike, but he goes straight into spikes and dies. What have we learned from this? Has the story moved forward? No, the dad barely shows any emotion with his bad voice acting, weird looking animation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the episode itself is pretty mid too, they set up all these character traits and pretty much spoil them as deeply as they do in the first episode and the last. Wheelchair guy is homeless and takes drugs and drinks. Effective shopper is fat and wants food. Irresponsible father fulfills his title. Lawnmower guy is wise and kills people, and perhaps the weirdest joke of them all, Segway guy wrote a self-published book? That's his entire personality. Is the joke like a stereotype on Segway drivers being pretentious? All the characters in the show are pretty one-note stereotypes that have been done to death before and are probably best stuck in a shit show like this. And it's pretty clear that the writers didn't actually have things to do with these characters, so just projected their own hated traits onto them like Segway guy, or just left them as basic as they could possibly be. Considering the violence, I've seen a lot of comparison for the show Happy Tree Friends. At a service level, yeah, maybe. But Happy Tree Friends is, in my opinion, a lot deeper than what Happy Wheels does. I have never seen Happy Tree Friends before, besides that damn YouTube copyright episode, but I went and watched an episode for comparison and it was so much more interesting. First of all, they had engaging characters that actually moved along a story and was interesting, and the girl was used in a much more slapstick and, weirdly enough, Looney Tunes-esque way. Not just a way to make your show more interesting. So upon seeing this first episode, I was honestly scared for the rest of the series. At this point, it just seems directionless. However, episode 2 is where we see the plot for the rest of the episodes. Halfway through, of course. The first half of the episode talks about the Friday race, where we find something that very vaguely resembles Happy Wheels, characters moving into danger like spikes and landmines. The King, who is voiced by Tay Zonday, appoints Dad as the winner, while the two main casters bring up the complaints about the spikes and the King does what the government does best. Nothing. So our main five characters decide after murdering dozens of people in the last episode that it's the town that's not safe, and they have to create a committee called Death to help everyone. That's our evolving plot, introduced in the second half of the second episode. Which I should probably mention by now, these episodes are pretty short, lasting from 2 to 5 minutes each, yet they still drag on and feel padded. Episode 3 lets Death explore an amusement park, where after trying to help people, they all end up, of course, usually hurting themselves and others. I actually think this episode's one of the better ones, I really like this joke with the wheelchair guy and the siren. What's that? You came here to bring me back home, and if I get in the pool, my legs will turn back into a tail? I have low standards. It was at this point that one of my friends I was watching this with Atticus said that Segway guy looks like Dr. Magnuson from Half-Life, which is very funny. Finer, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? I also realized it felt like I was watching Smosh Babies before a slightly older audience, but with the same amount of piss jokes in it. The episode ends with all of them dying separately, but even though it feels formulaic, this is probably the best episode I've seen so far. I really enjoyed this one. Okay, I may have been exaggerating a bit there. I didn't really mind the violence in this episode, it felt thematically cool, and the storytelling and jokes were actually present in this one, so overall, I didn't mind this episode. In the fourth episode, the uh, Renaissance men are coming to town. 
Uh, who are they? This episode has no direction and it's even more obvious than the last one. By the way, just a warning, uh, a lot of these episodes were considered lost media until like a couple months ago. So the quality for these is going to be very low. Like this one's in 360p. I'm so sorry. We're just going to have to deal with this terrible image quality together. But the lost media stuff, I'll talk about that more in a bit. I could compare it more to the first episode of them being separated from each other and just dying at their own. Though the part where this random guy just takes over the wheelchair is so funny to me. I don't know why, like it just cuts so quickly and he's just there for the rest of the episode. I find that really funny. But I'm starting to get bored of the show already. It's just death, death, and like a barely strung together plot to put them together. Episode 5 is weird. Death go to a mall and you can probably guess what happens. They have actual Happy Wars elements in this episode, like a spike fall, or these movement pads, but also just some stuff that I don't even know the origin of. Wheelchair guy talks to this character named Spots. I tried researching and I have no idea who this is. I'm very confused. Maybe it's just like a, a, a drug like thing. I, I don't know what this means. By this point, the repetitive chiptune music, which really just screams hello fellow gamers and the boring structure of each episode was starting to get to me a lot. Like all they do in each episode is they walk around a location, they say we're gonna help people, and then they die. How many times can they tell the same joke? Episode 6 didn't help this feeling at all. This episode isn't even related to death, they just find a cocoon and try to save people from messing with it. They have this weird bit with wheelchair guy who says he can predict the future, but he just says things after they happen. Sorry, Happy Wheel. Steven Universe did it better. Wheelchair guy does kill these guys though, and I thought that death was kind of funny. I don't know, just the way that they fall off. The episode ends with bugs taking over and killing everyone, but who cares? There's no consequences. You just come back perfectly fine the next episode. It's just violence for no reason at this point. In the episode before this, they say this. 317 people have lost their lives. Some of them permanently, and some hilariously. Does this mean if you have a funny death, you get to live again? What the fuck are the rules in this world? I know when I ask these questions, I may think, why are you taking this so seriously? I don't fucking know. This show just makes no sense to me, and not in like a nonsensical way, like smiling friends randomly, they do this, or like happy tree friends, but it's randomly blood for no reason. Like, at least that has a reason to have blood. It's called subversion of expectations. With Happy Wheels, it's just, it's just violence for no reason. Like, I'm actually becoming used to the violence, which means it has no impact on me anymore. I'm not shocked when I see it because I know what's going to happen. They've removed all of the effectiveness out of gore in a show like this. All right. So episode seven may be the most interesting episode of Happy Wheels the series. You may ask, is it really good? You've seen the past few episodes, we know it's not that, no. Episode seven is considered lost media. The streaming services to add on was shut down in 2019, killing all shows on it. Unfortunately, not all of Happy Wheels was lost, and it was just this one episode. This one titled Steven Saves a Day. The script for episode seven has been found, but it is just as forgettable as the rest of them, and probably even the shortest episode out of the entire batch. They're in a tunnel trying to get to a CPR class and they get hurt in a level like in the game and then Steven runs to the CPR class to try to help them but it's too late and then has a heart attack. Yeah, genuinely nothing happens in this. Same with episode 8. I actually had to rewatch this one multiple times because the first time I watched it I just didn't write down anything in my notes. It's revealed that effective shopper's shopping cart was actually stolen. Uh, some people die. The, the, the end. Episode 9 is where they go back to the past, the old Friday car race. They kill some people, blah, 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 blah. Then they fuck up the future because they killed some people. To be continued, thank fucking not. Overall, the Happy Wheels series is pretty bad and definitely has a reason to be forgotten. It's just 30 minutes of violence and nothing else. I'm genuinely desensitized to this shit. I used to feel things seeing this. But I mean, to be honest, if you like just watching violence with a very minimal plot, I, I guess you'll enjoy it. I don't know. I think the violence is way too cartoony to get anything from me. Like, I got desensitized to it very early on. So if you think you'd like something like this, I guess more power to you. But for me personally, I couldn't stand this show. The animation was something I didn't really touch on too much. But while the art style was pretty cool, Mimic and style the game very authentically, the way the characters are animated a lot of the time looks pretty bad. And this isn't saved by the story, the barely passable voice acting at times, and just a boring concept for a show executed in the most boring way possible. Overall, what would I give the Happy Wheels show? A second season, of course. Emmy's where were you in this shit dropped?